without a doubt, this year has held many, many challenges, not just for the Rescue Centre, but for all of you out there. Mm. However, one incredibly good thing has come mm. out of this year. We have to backtrack a little mm. here. 12 years ago, we met Lucero, and Lucero inspired us mm. to start the Rescue Centre. Two or three years mm. down the road, we rescued Sophia, with her son Jacob, who was a fool. Jacob was actually um, adopted by two lovely, lovely people. And because of Jacob, they then went on to create Jacob's Ridge, that's based in Murcia, and it's an animal sanctuary. And they really do amazing work. So, Lucero inspired us to start this rescue center. Jacob inspired those lovely people to start Jacob's Ridge. This year, an amazing young woman came to volunteer here at the Rescue Centre from Switzerland, Jasmine. She fell in love with Lawrence, one of our rescues. Um, I believe that is the back end of Lawrence there, under the shelter. And Lawrence has now inspired Jasmine to work with us in Switzerland. We have formed an association in Switzerland it's called Easy Horse Care Rescue Swiss. Lawrence will be the first horse to go to Switzerland and he will actually stay for the rest of his life with Jasmine. Our aim is to rehome the rescued horses, as many as we can, to good people in Switzerland. The reason Switzerland is so good, financially it's a stable country. They have very, very good animal welfare laws there. They have grass, lots of it, and plenty of fresh air. And there are many people over there that would be very interested in having a horse that can't be ridden, an older horse, and again, experienced people that would give a youngster a home. We are very, very excited in this project. And also, because we are based there, we will be able to check on the horses throughout their lives and if for any reason an adoption doesn't work out there will be a base in Switzerland for the rescued animal to go back to. This way we will ensure the safety and the security of all Easy Horse Care Rescue animals for the rest of their life. The rescue centre will obviously stay as it is, a foundation, and we will continue to do what we do here. There are so many horses in Spain that desperately need homes. Obviously here at the centre we now have 122. We realise that somehow we need move forward to help more horses and we feel this will enable us to do so much more.